Hello everybody, my name is Kadem, welcome back for a new series or new game for now, boys. The Matrix Awakens. Started or played by or made by our Unreal Engine. Of course, everybody knows Unreal Engine. It is the IMAX of uh, developing games. From what I understand from this game, it's uh, what's gonna happen is it's a very much a cinematic game. It's like it's uh, developing the next level of technology in terms of cinematic, how the characters look, the graphics, and everything. And we get to play at the same time. So, a brand new Matrix game. For now, it's a demo though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and enter. As soon as I enter, I'm gonna have a limited time to play it, I believe. Let's start this shit up, boys. Let's do this. Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this or that, why we want to make X instead of Y, where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? doing back there sorry I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system right on you know about this yeah it's all supposed to be a little unreal word of advice agents are bad but whatever you do stay the hell away from marketing see you soon Alright boys, let's do this shit. Uh this one. Go, 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 go. 
Look at this shit. Look how good it looks. Shit looks fantastic. It looks like we're actually playing the movie itself. All right, let's go, boys. Shoot the Titan taxis and stuff. Gotta watch out. I don't want to shoot the uh, bystanders. Even though they're not real. All right. Oh, shit. Reload. I, I had to reload, boys. God damn it. I had to literally reload. That's not good. Wrong time to do it. All right, good. I got him. I got him. These guys are literally trying to fly at me. Okay. Why do I always have to reload right there? Wait, they're coming. I gotta reload again. Okay, they're in my ass right now. They're in the car. It's not good. They jumped me right into the action right there. Get these agents off me. What the fuck? That's a bit overkill, don't you think? Oh no, don't make me drive the car, please. Oh shit! Watch out, boys. Why do I have to reload every five seconds, though? That's gonna be hard. Hold on now, this. Okay, you drive like a maniac, man. Drive better, please. Holy shit. Wait, there's a van and stuff. How am I really gonna be able to shoot the tires off that van? Really? Okay then. Whoa now. Yo, this game looks so good. I can't believe this. This is what Unreal Engine can do for you, boys. It's just unbelievable. I'm just loving it right now. The, the way the graphics is and everything. It's the next level shit right there. Oh, we, we're picking up. Okay, so this is a burst one, though. It's not an automatic. Which I'm not much of a fan of bursts uh, rifle. I'm gonna have to see, though, uh, what we can do. We uh, just go ahead and do that. Man, I'm getting... Okay. Do I not have to reload? Okay, yeah, there's nothing... Okay. I was about to say, why don't they explode, man? There's nothing I could have done. Okay. This is not even a, a burst. Like, it's like a mini, uh, minigun and stuff. It's not a minigun, but a machine gun. It's an L uh, LMG, boys. I, MLG or something. Uh, I, I don't know how far we're going to get with that. It takes a lot of ammo. Oh, don't let me do that. I got it. Just in time, man. The way she turned around and stuff. I gotta tell you boys, the way it started, it started like crazy. Toggle mass AI visualization. Oh, what the hell? Word partition. So you can see the AI, the way it works. So the the red or the, the green, I gotta say, I guess the green is like, uh, okay, so day and night. You can switch between day and night and everything. You're basically in control, boys. You're in control of the Matrix. That's awesome. They, the developers basically gave you uh, the hand. That's what um, that's what uh, Keanu told us and stuff. It's that they gave us the end, like where we uh, uh, we have the upper hand on the game itself. A nine night visualization. Oh, that hurts my eyes a little bit, but that's okay, I guess. Don't know what. Not sure why we would need nine nights though. Display rendered pixels, so we uh, we can pixelize it, I guess. Okay, and meta sounds. So that I guess that's the sounds, right? That's the way it's done. They just want to show us how it's done and stuff. Love playing uh, this game already, boys. It's gonna be a fantastic game. It's probably gonna be super short, but so good. Oh my. God, man, look at this shit. Look how good this game looks. You guys can probably tell, but this looks good as hell, man. On the next gen and everything. This is next level. 
Sprint, fly, I can fly. How the fuck can I... F I thought only Neo could fly. Well, I guess anything is possible in the Matrix, right? Am I as powerful as him, I guess? Am I a chosen, the new chosen one or something? Look at this. Look how good this game looks. This game looks good as hell, man. You can... You can feel like this is like a new GTA game, basically. You know how the GTA games usually are the ones uh, doing for the for uh, for the free roam part, are the ones upgrading the uh, the level of how far you go and everything. I think I think this is the one that does it right now. It feels like a new GTA game, except it's the Matrix. Uh, if I sprint, okay, so that's how you sprint. It's kind of a weird one for the sprint. I gotta watch out for the cops because the cops uh, are the are on the same page as the agents and stuff. Can I take cars? I can steal cars whenever I want. That's cool. What if I start flying though? Menu. I've got the map and everything. Okay. So I've got the maps. Okay. Got uh, got it. All right. So st what if start, uh, I start? Uh, oh, fly. That's the, the the drone. Okay. I was about to say. That's just the mode that you can create stuff or altitude and high up. Okay. Speed. Okay, so that's just the mode that you you can either walk into the uh, the, uh, the the thing or you can okay. Just gonna press. Okay, I got you. That's how it works. I got you. That was pretty much creation mode or whatever. You were like a no clip mode or something. Alright. I got you. It's really fun to be able to play like it's basically a PC game, right? It, it made it's it was made to be played on PC, but it's not actually uh, a PC game. It, well, it can be played there, but it can also be played in here like uh, next gen and stuff, which is really cool. What if I start driving? I want a good car though. Let me take that car right here. There we go. We're taking cars, boys. They don't even they didn't even lock that one. This looks like a Porsche or something, boys. All right, let's go. Look how fast we can drive. Woo! The driving looks a little bit stiff though. Not gonna lie, boys. Driving is a bit... Uh... Whoa! God damn! Let me look a little bit. Oh, it looks great. The way the ge uh, the car actually is broken in half and stuff like that when you f like go into something. Let me... Uh... Woo! Okay, alright, alright. I'm not sure if I'm... Yeah, I'm not a really good driver, boys. Hold on. I just ran into that cop car. He's not going to chase after me. All right. Got you. All right. Yeah, this one is tough. I don't know if it's the, the Porsche itself that I'm having a hard time with. All right. Let me uh, rock around, really. The game is all about this, really. You just have fun. You drive around. And you just explore what Unreal Engine can do for you. What it can offer you, really. What if I... Can I go into any... Okay, so I can't go into places. So it's not that high up of... Uh, of ne of the next uh, thing, really. It's not that high up in terms of technology. Let me see though, the faces of the characters. They look good. Look good enough. What if I do the menu? What, do, what can I do with the menu and everything? So if I do this... What is that? Mega City? Oh, that's the sun, right? The sun rotation. So you can switch the sun and everything. Look at that. You can see the sun changing the light. Let's see the daytime, uh, nighttime. Let's see uh, nighttime, boys. I do want to see it really quick. Okay, so sun rotation. That's not really what I meant. Crowd. We can choose 100 crowd, traffic, park cars, crowd traffic. Crowd and traffic. Okay, so you can see, like, that's all the AI right there. As you can see, matrix filters. Oh, so we can have the matrix filters or just a regular game, as you can see. So it's a little bit greenish because you know you're in the matrix. If you're trying to be a bit more real, let's put it on real. Okay, got you. And that's the system, the map. Okay, and what if I want to be, like, exposure compensation? Oh, that's exposure. Okay. What if I want to be nighttime though? What do I do for nighttime? I can... Okay, I can do this. Which is really cool. Okay, I'm going to keep it like that for now. Focus distance. Don't really matter to me. All these little islands. I think this might be New York or this might be like close to it. Like uh, a similar representation, I guess. 
it's a bit iffy a little bit when you go uh when you look down but everything is, looks good you can see all the cars moving around and stuff still this is so good boys i love this i'm loving this right now C can i go I, you know what i want to go into buildings i do want to go into the build uh, or uh, like on the rooftops so we're gonna try and do that i don't want to go into another we, we might try to go to a different island and stuff like that that's what we might try and do let me go all the way on top right there. All right, so what do we... Do I want to go on the uppest building that I can see right now? I think that might be this this one right here. I think this is the highest one that I could see. So what if I walk right here? Oh, okay, all right. So I cannot be in top of the building. Okay, got, that's good enough, I guess. That's okay. There's some points of direction that, tell, that are telling me that I have to go there or something. I did explore the game a little bit, but now it's time to, uh, to play for real. So what is that? Mass AI system stimulates or simulates 35k pedestrians across the city. Pedestrian density can be adjusted in the settings menu. So over 35. This is the next level, boys, because some games like Assassin's Creed are able to Ubisoft is able to do that to an extent. But even them, uh, they have over 1k uh, density or something like that. And 35k is another level. I think it's just like to be able to not glitch out, not lag at all. Not have any problems. I think this is what Cyberpunk was trying to do and it failed miserably. Uh, not have any lag. Graphics are looking good. They're staying good. Everything looks normal. The city looks still great. And they've got that many density of people. It looks like a lively city. People live in here, you know. It is not lagging anything. So it's really well made. Where where am I going next though? Because are these little points? What about the yellow points? I'm going to go uh, to one of those uh, yellow spots. Hold on, boys. All right, so I've arrived. I'm going to try and see where it's at exactly. Because we're right there. There's a yellow spot somewhere. Might be here somewhere, boys. Can I enter this place? I can't enter any building, so I'm not sure where the yellow spot is at or what's this all about. Is that like a phone place, a phone booth or something that I can take? Not entirely sure, boys. Let me... I, I really... Oh, there it is. There it is. There, It's right there. So it's just another one of those. Enable night lighting. There it is. That's what I wanted. All right, there it is, boys. That's what I wanted. So we've got nighttime now. So now we can look at how nighttime looks in this game. It looks pretty good. The the lighting itself is a bit light. Uh, maybe if we put it darker, it's going to be better off. Let me see actually the differences. Uh, if I go in there and change some stuff up. So exposure. I can upgrade that. Yeah, maybe that a little bit. You like you put it a little bit darker, darker-ish. It's a little bit better for nighttime. That's something you never see from AI is putting their flashers on or something, boys. All right, everything seems fine by me, boys. I think I really like this game, or what? Uh, what you can call it for a game? Obviously, it's just me rocking around, no clip mode mostly, or the testing some stuff, just uh, driving into people and stuff. So I like this game quite a lot. Not too sure if there's anything else you can do in this game though. Uh, I'm gonna look it up really quick, but I don't think there is though. All right, I don't think there's anything else to it. It's just you roaming around in the streets and having a lot of fun, boys. So if you guys wanna pick that up, try it out for yourself and see how good the game looks. Uh, it's pretty simple, the game is free. It's literally free, it's a demo. Uh, you guys can get it on PC, on the PlayStation 5, Xbox, uh, the series, uh, X. You can get it pretty much anywhere you want. It's a fantastic game. Uh, it's true, there's not much content out of it, but that's besides the point. That's not really what the game is all about. The game is more likely just you roaming around, uh, testing the waters of how far a game can go. That's what Unreal Engine is. Uh, really, they just do stuff like that where you can test the waters for graphics, uh, how far a city, density, uh, games can go and stuff like that and such uh, such things. So 
Uh, this was a really fun time for me, boys. The the start was something else, I'm gonna say. But um, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this uh, mini video about uh, the new Unreal Engine uh, game. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.